Welcome to the 2021 Phi Theta Kappa All Maryland Community College Academic Team Recognition Event. I am Dawn Lindsay, President of Anne Arundel Community College and the host of this virtual event. While we wish the event could be in person, we appreciate the opportunity to have this virtual celebration to honor the tremendous achievements of our students across the state of Maryland. The All Maryland Community College Academic Team Recognition Awards program was introduced in 1995 to recognize scholastic achievement and student leadership among Maryland's community college students. Today, we are here to celebrate 39 students from Maryland Community Colleges. Being part of this academic team is about more than academics, although the students here have proven exceptional in that regard. Today, we recognize a critical part of excelling individually, using knowledge and skills to serve and enrich our community. States from across the country have honored the commitment and excellence of students in all state academic team recognition programs, sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa, community college presidents, and the community college state associations. Team selection is based on nominations submitted for the All USA Academic Team, a program sponsored by Follett Higher Education Group with additional support provided by the American Association of Community Colleges and Phi Theta Kappa. I want to thank the community college presidents represented here today. We will have the opportunity to meet each president or their representative as they honor their students. I also want to thank the team from Anne Arundel Community College for coordinating this virtual event and the PTK advisors and staff from each of the colleges who collaborated with them. Your efforts are much appreciated. Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society is the oldest and most prestigious honor society for students seeking associate degrees and credentials from community colleges and other open access institutions. We are pleased to have the president and CEO of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, Dr. Lynn Tincher Ladner, who will share some congratulatory remarks. She is a champion of both community colleges and community college students, and has been a huge supporter of the All Maryland Community College Academic Team events. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Lynn Tincher Ladner. Hello and greetings from Phi Theta Kappa's international headquarters. My name is Dr. Lynn Tincher Ladner. I'm president and CEO. Thank you all for inviting me to speak and to help celebrate the All Maryland Academic Team. The students here today are crushing it and in the middle of a pandemic. Academically, they're at the top, but I like to tell people that this award means more than you think it means. I mean, let's face it, there are a lot of great students out there. In fact, there are over 13,000 students in Maryland's community and technical colleges with either perfect or near perfect GPAs, but they're not all with us today. I like to tell students that if you're receiving this award, it isn't about who you know, it isn't about what you know, but it's about how others know you and your work. This award is for students who are nominated by their colleges. It's for students whose work is known both inside and outside of the classroom. I mean, we know you're not just the volunteers on campus, but you're the leaders of the volunteers on campus. I think in general, community colleges are well known for their, for their affordability and accessibility, but maybe not quite as well known for their quality, but they are quality institutions. And the students in this room today, they are the very best evidence of that quality. I think last year alone, we had over more than 1.9 million bachelor's degrees awarded in this country, and 49% of them were from community college transfers. So in addition to preparing students for the most in-demand jobs in Maryland, your community colleges are making substantial contributions to the bachelor's degree production in your state. And if you're members of the All Maryland team, we study your success too. Uh, you have a 100% chance of completing college, but more importantly, we find in our research that you'll have more successful life outcomes as well. Things like getting a good job and keeping that job. We find you have more success in your relationships and you just have better overall happiness. So after today, I want to challenge the students to be part of a new narrative, one that includes not only your own personal journey of success, but one that lets the whole world know that the colleges in this state are equal parts accessibility, affordability, and quality. 
So again, congratulations to the members of the All Maryland team. We're so proud of your work. Keep on crushing it and thank you. Now we will have the opportunity to hear from our new Century Scholars. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sanjay Ray, Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs at Montgomery College, who will introduce the new Century Transfer Scholar, Michelle Hunt. Dr. Ray will be followed by Dr. Cynthia Bombara, President of Allegheny College of Maryland, who will introduce the new Century Workforce Scholar, Rachel Mickle. Thank you. Hi. I'm Dr. Sanjay Rai, Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs at Montgomery College. It is my honor to introduce the 2021 New Century Transfer Scholar and All Maryland Academic First Team member, Michelle Hunt. Michelle is a business major at Montgomery College who is actively involved on campus and working as an intern for good 360. She plans to major in marketing at either the University of Maryland College Park or Shady Grove, and her goal is to be the owner of an extremely successful business. When she's not vigorously staring at her laptop, she enjoys yoga, good food, spending quality time with friends, and meeting new people. Michelle particularly likes to volunteer for local service activities that involve road and stream cleanups. Congratulations, Michelle. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Hunt and I am a 2021 New Century Transfer Scholar. I am also a full-time business student at Montgomery College who is planning on transfer to the Robert H. Smith School of Business at the University of Maryland Fall 2021. First of all, I wanted to give an enormous thank you to Phi Theta Kappa for allowing this scholarship opportunity to become a reality to me. As a first generation college student, it has been a difficult journey ever since the graduation of high school up to year two of college in discovering myself and what I want to do and finding the support to get to the dream that I want to achieve. My, neither of my parents really went to college, so it was solely up to me to find connections and build an educational foundation that will lead me to success. And this scholarship is truly one of those pillars that have helped me build that foundation. So just a little bit about me. Um, the COVID-19 pandemic has certainly affected me, just like I'm sure it's affected everyone else, whether you're a student or not. And I found that applying for scholarships like these or, you know, honor societies or clubs or cohorts for scholarships, anything has truly helped me and has been an unusual advantage to this online transition. Um, although there are, of course, many disadvantages, such as not being able to connect with you all on one on one or be in the same room. There are also some strange advantages, such as the scholarship. And to be quite honest, if I wasn't, if we weren't remote this semester, I'm not sure if I would have ever applied for the scholarship. So once again, I am extremely grateful for everyone. And I hope everyone is safe and happy in their homes. And we are all praying that eventually everyone can get vaccinated so we can get back into the campus and back to our lives. Um, and if so, I wish the best journey and thank you again, Phi Theta Kappa, and thank you to my family, thank you to my friends and my wonderful classmates for being there every step of the way. Thank you so much. It is my honor to introduce the 2021 New Century Workforce Scholar and all Maryland Academic First Team member, Rachel Mickle. Rachel will complete her associate's degree in multimedia technology with a 3.94 grade point average. In the fall, she plans to attend Stevenson University and pursue a bachelor's degree in graphic design. Rachel plans to study abroad to further her design studies. Her career goal is to work at a nonprofit organization as a graphic designer. She is passionate about cooking and nutrition education and hopes to work for an organization that focuses on food education and making food accessible to those in need. Her volunteer experience includes serving as a missionary in the Dominican Republic, and she enjoys spending time with her family hiking and kayaking. Congratulations, Rachel. This 2021 
is a great honor and opportunity to be speaking to you tonight as the 2021 New Century Workforce Scholar. If it wasn't for my incredible PTK advisors and friends, I wouldn't have submitted my application at all. I was full of doubt and uncertainty about it, but I decided to put my best foot forward and give it a try anyway. And that's what I would like to emphasize this evening is making choices one at a time and how they can shape us. No, this is far from where I expected my life to go when I graduated from high school three years ago. As I walked across that stage to shake a hand and grab my diploma, I, I didn't know what my future looked like. I had decided not to apply to any colleges at all because I couldn't stand the thought of sitting at a desk for another four years. I decided to take a gap year and during that time, I promised my parents I would do two things. One, I would get a job. And two, I would take a serious look at my future to determine if college was right for me. And little did I know that that gap year would be the key to jumpstarting my academic career once again. The job I got was a hostess at a local family owned restaurant. So I spent my days uh, seating customers, selling fresh items from our bakery and cleaning our bathrooms. <laughs> Though it was so much more than that. That job helped coax me out of my comfort zone. You know, talking was never my strong suit. <laughs> so being in a position where I had to speak to customers all day long was a challenge at first. But the longer I was there, my confidence just skyrocketed. And I started to wonder if college could be the same for me. If I was thriving in this environment, wouldn't I thrive even more in an environment where I was studying something that I loved? But I didn't know what I wanted to study. It was my parents actually that introduced me to Allegheny College of Maryland's multimedia technology program. It involved photography, uh, video production, graphic design, and it was only a two year program. I could get my associates and then be done with school forever or so I thought. <laughs> As I moved into campus housing, I promised myself one thing, I was going to get involved. And I soon found myself going to choir practice, uh, joining Advocates for Christ meetings, and uh, joining something, a little thing called Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> My advisors saw ambition in me that I didn't and encouraged me to run for a position as a regional officer. In making the choice to serve in that position, I was able to grow in my, uh, my public speaking skills, leadership, teamwork, and self-confidence yet again. Though I never thought I'd transfer anywhere to continue my education, through my experiences in PTK and here at ACM, that showed me how much I can thrive in this learning environment. So I made another tough choice. I'll be attending Stevenson University in the fall to study graphic design. You know, it's a great motivator for me, knowing that I and all of us have the choice in how to build our futures. And this scholarship is a great representation of those choices and how far you can go by making one choice at a time. And earning this shows me that I can accomplish more than I give myself credit for. And the same goes to you. So go out and make those choices, even if you're not completely sure where they'll lead you. With great drive, determination, and commitment, you'll find yourself in places that you never expected, but in the best way possible. Thank you and have a great evening. Now, let's celebrate more outstanding Maryland scholars. Each president or representative will introduce their individual All-Maryland academic team member. Dr. Cynthia Bambara, president of Allegheny College of Maryland, will begin the recognitions. Please join me in congratulating All-Maryland academic second team member, Emily Imgrund. Emily is an early education major with a 4.0 GPA. After completing her associate's degree, she plans to attend Frostburg State University to continue her studies and become an elementary school teacher. 
She is the Vice President of Fellowship for the Omicron Pi Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa and President of the Education Club at Allegheny College of Maryland. She has volunteered at many PTK events, as well as college events such as open houses, fundraisers, and most recently with her leadership class at a local zoo. Emily enjoys traveling, painting, hiking, and spending time with her family and friends. Congratulations, Emily. I'm pleased to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Lauren Lowry. During high school, Lauren was a dual enrolled student at Allegheny College of Maryland and completed all of her prerequisites for the nursing program. She was the salutatorian of her high school class and was accepted directly into ACM's nursing program. Lauren will graduate with a 4.0 GPA. She plans to attend Frostburg State University and major in nurse informatics. Her career goal is to become a nurse practitioner specializing in pediatric oncology. She is a volunteer with the Grantsville Fire Department Auxiliary and a member of the Children's Ministry Serve team at her church. Congratulations, Lauren. It is my honor to introduce all Maryland academic first team member, Grace Bonn. An international student from Vietnam, Grace is a transfer studies major and plans to attend Loyola University, Maryland and pursue a degree in accounting. Her short-term goal is to obtain her CPA licensure and work for a public accounting firm. Eventually, Grace would like to return to Vietnam and help promote the importance of education while working to make it more affordable. She is grateful for her educational experience at Anne Arundel Community College, as well as the opportunity to be in so many leadership roles. Grace served as a supplemental instruction leader for biology, is a member of the Student Government Association, and a chapter officer for the Omicron Theta chapter of PTK. Grace loves to cook and read, and she hopes to master Chinese, learn to play the piano, and retire in the countryside. She also volunteers at the Navy Marine Corps Relief Society Thrift Shop in Annapolis. Congratulations, Grace. Please join me in congratulating all Maryland academic first team member, Carlene Dolman. Carlene was born and raised in the Philippines and is an architecture major at Anne Arundel Community College. She will be continuing her education at Clemson University in the fall and ultimately would like to earn her bachelor's and master's degree in architecture. Carlene has an interest in sustainable design and wants to focus on commercial buildings that communities can benefit from. She is an active member of Phi Theta Kappa and president of the college's chapter of the American Institute of Architecture Students. Carlene is a veteran of the United States Air Force. She continues to give to members of the military community as a volunteer at the Navy Marine Corps Relief Society and the Fleet and Family Support Center. After the loss of her father, Carlene and her family founded the Philippine American Surviving Partner Support Club. This organization provides assistance with navigating the process of military survivor benefits, organizing educational workshops, and helping to provide for basic financial needs. Congratulations, Carlene. Well, it's my pleasure to introduce all Maryland academic first team member, Cindy Chavayer. Cindy is originally from Cameroon, Africa, and she's a nursing student at Carroll. She'll be graduating this spring and plans to transfer to the University of Maryland School of Nursing. Ultimately, she'd like to be a nurse anesthetist. Cindy is really active in our SGO uh, on campus and uh, is involved in the, our food locker program as well as food lockers in the Westminster area. Cindy also created Education for Girls in West Africa. It's an organization that raises funds for scholarships and school supplies for young women there. They've served over 100 students so far. Cindy, we are very proud of you. Congratulations. Well, it's my pleasure to introduce to you all Maryland Academic Second Team member, McKaylin Bond. McKaylin is an arts and sciences major who is graduating from Carroll this spring. She plans to transfer to Towson University to study biomedical sciences as well as philosophy. Ultimately, she'd like to become a physician's assistant. McKaylin is very active in our PTK organization, Alpha Psi Psi chapter at Carroll. She's currently organizing a wellness challenge for students to encourage physical and mental well-being. She also enjoys hiking and reading in her spare time. McKaylin, 
Congratulations for all you've done at Carroll. We're very proud of you. It is my honor to introduce All Maryland Academic Second Team member, Katrina Belfield. Originally from Fayette, North Carolina, Katrina is a video production major at Cecil College. She served seven years in the military as a signal support specialist and has a passion to create videos. She plans on continuing her studies at the University of the Arts, major in film, and would like to own her own business doing videography and photography. Katrina seeks to help others and be a good role model, especially for her two children. She loves to travel and has explored many countries around the world. Congratulations, Katrina. Please join me in congratulating all Maryland second team member, Phoebe Calkins. Phoebe has strived to challenge herself both academically and independently throughout her life. She entered Cecil College at age 13 as a member of the Early College Academy Homeschool Program. She is majoring in general studies and plans to continue her education either Towson University or University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Eventually, she'd like to pursue her PhD in biology as she would like a career that would directly benefit the health of animals as a research scientist. Phoebe serves as vice president of Alpha Alpha Theta, the Cecil College chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. She has been an assistant dog trainer since 2017 at the Academy of Dog Training and Agility in Newark, Delaware, and has been studying piano for five years. Congratulations, Phoebe. I am pleased to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Priska Calkins. Priska attended Cecil College as a member of the Early College Academy homeschool program when she was 14 years old. Her experience at Cecil College encouraged her love of learning and provided an environment where she excelled academically. She is an Alpha Alpha Theta officer, the Cecil College chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. She was also recognized as a member of the President's List for Academic Achievements every semester since spring 2019. Priska is a general studies major and plans to continue her education either at Towson University or University of Maryland, Baltimore County, majoring in mathematics. She would like to pursue her PhD in physics, having a career in research. Congratulations, Priska. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Doran Thompson. Married to a US Air Force Staff Sergeant and mother to three children, Doran started college 22 years after completing high school. When her youngest child turned 15 years old, she decided it was time for her to figure out what she wanted to do and what she wanted to be when she grew up. The social work major who plans to continue her studies at Newman University would like to work with the Military Family Readiness Group as she has been a recipient of their support and would like to give back to the next generation of military families. She also volunteers her time at the National Aquarium and with Stephen Ministries. Congratulations, Doran. It is my honor to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Robin Gibson. Robin, an interior design major, was a duly enrolled student at the College of Southern Maryland, earning credits while she was in high school. Her career goal is to be a successful designer and start her own business with her fiance in renovation and custom builds. While her journey has been challenging, she believes it's been worth it, and she's excited to earn her degree and be an interior designer. She currently works as an assistant for the Radiant Home Group, and in her free time, she plans to start volunteering specifically with animals in her community. Congratulations, Robin. And please join me in congratulating all Maryland academic second team member, Kia Robinson. Kia is an elementary education major at the College of Southern Maryland who plans to continue her studies. She's undecided as to where, perhaps at the University of Maryland College Park, and she's going to become an educator. She enjoys reading, writing, drawing, and listening to music. Congratulations, Kia. Hello, I'm Sandra Curtinitis, the proud president of the Community College of Baltimore County. And it is my honor to introduce CCBC's uh, academic honorees for tonight. So first, I want to introduce Daniel Harrison, an international student from Jamaica. Daniel is an engineering student and his dream, since he was five years old, is to be an airline transport pilot. 
He is currently doing his flight training while he plans to attend Morgan State University and major in mechanical engineering. Daniel's passions include reading novels, exercising, advocating, playing sports, learning French and the French culture, flying, of course, socializing, and watching documentaries. Congratulations, Daniel. I am pleased to introduce all Maryland Academic First Team member, Phoebe Ismail. Phoebe is from Lagos State, Nigeria, and is a biology major at CCBC. After graduation, she intends to transfer to the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, to complete pre-med requirements and to earn her bachelor's degree in biology. Her career goal is to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. Good for you, Phoebe. Phoebe is a student life ambassador and has been voluntarily participating in the Middle States accreditation work groups. She is currently an intern at Hawkeye Med Tech and has volunteered Christian Church of God's Redemption and the Greater Patapsco Community Association with local river cleanups. Congratulations to Phoebe. Now, please join me in congratulating all Maryland first team member, Sydney Parks. Sydney is a first generation college student majoring in communications. She's a student life ambassador who was inducted into Phi Theta Kappa and served as vice president of public relations and then as president of the chapter. She completed the honors program and expects to receive a certificate of global studies this spring. She plans to continue her education at NYU and major in leadership and management studies with a concentration in public relations and marketing. And she hopes to have a career in public relations. Sydney volunteers at the Northern Baltimore County Cluster Food Bank and its clothing closet. Congratulations, Sydney. I'm pleased to introduce all Maryland academic first team member, Imani Stewart. Imani is a non-traditional college student who worked prior to her secondary education as both a pharmacy and a laboratory technician. She is a general studies major who plans to attend either Brown University or Smith College and study political science and sociology. She has a passion for yoga, weightlifting, and painting, as well as a desire to attend law school and become a human rights lawyer. Her volunteer efforts include distribution food in the community. Congratulations, Imani. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Justice Awuzi. Justice graduates with a 3.62 GPA and is receiving an associate's degree in general studies. Congratulations, Justice. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Patricia Amadebue. Patricia is originally from California, a single mom to three children. She will be the first in her family to graduate college after persevering through some very difficult situations. She is a general studies student and will attend the University of Maryland and major in computer science. She is a poet and a motivational speaker and one day she hopes to own her own business. Congratulations, Patricia, and congratulations to all of the CCBC Phi Theta Kappa Academic All-Stars. Thanks. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland academic first team member, Julie Butler. Working hard to pay for her education and find strength to overcome personal challenges, Julie turned to education as her path forward. At Frederick Community College, she found the resources and support to return to school and succeed. Julie's love for learning keeps her motivated through life's trials. She plans to attend the University of Maryland Global Campus and major in psychology with a career goal to be a psychologist. She's a proud mother who adores her daughter and volunteers as a Sunday school teacher. Congratulations, Julie. Please also join me in congratulating all Maryland academic second team member, Caitlin Wachter. A communications major with a speech concentration, Caitlin loves music, research, meeting new people, and the perfect cup of coffee. 
She has applied to several colleges and universities and is weighing her options. Caitlin plans to major in speech language pathology with a career goal to serve Frederick County as a speech language pathologist specializing in swallowing disorders. She's co-president of the FCC Honors Student Association, and she serves as a peer mentor for the Honors College. Congratulations, Caitlin. It is my honor to introduce all Maryland academic first team member, Jessica Dauber, a native from Philadelphia who enjoys driving in her Jeep, listening to the music with the windows down. This nursing and psychology major brings extra spice wherever she goes. Jessica plans to attend Johns Hopkins RN MSN program and has accepted a position at the University of Maryland Shock Trauma. Her career goal is to be a nurse anesthetist. She believes her work ethic and empathy are her biggest strengths and she cares very much about each patient she encounters. She could not see herself in any other field. Congratulations, Jessica. Please join me in congratulating all Maryland academic second team member, Willard Hammerman. Willard is a cybersecurity major who is looking forward to new adventures that await him in the field of IT. He hopes to work either as a private contractor or with a company for the government. Willard has faced many health challenges and he has refused to let that situation define him. He, enjoy, he chooses to focus on enjoying life with the people he loves the most and views every day as a blessing. His volunteer experiences include traveling to Peru to help build a church, coaching a youth fellowship basketball team, and during COVID, not only was he a student, but he was a teacher, educating his three children at home on life and the pursuit of happiness. Congratulations, Willard. I'm pleased to introduce all Maryland second team member, Christina Metcalf. Christina is a nursing major who works as a medical assistant at Johns Hopkins. Her career goal is to become a labor and delivery RN. She and her beautiful chocolate lab live on a small farm in Pennsylvania, and she volunteers at the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts. Congratulations, Christina. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland second team member, Brenda Taylor. As a single mother with some significant health issues, Brenda knew that her pathway would be through education. She enrolled in the Health Information Management Program at Hagerstown Community College, earning all A's while working and going to school full time. Her career goal is to work in a health information department of a hospital or healthcare system. She's an active volunteer with several organizations in both Hagerstown and Chambersburg, Pennsylvania that work with serving the needs of the community. Congratulations, Brenda. It is my honor to introduce all Maryland first academic team member, Jereen Chowdhury. Jereen grew up in Bangladesh and moved back and forth to the United States until she settled down in Maryland after high school. Currently a business administration major, Jereen enjoys being challenged academically and is interested in economics and how current world events affect the world's financial standing. Jereen plans to attend the University of Maryland College Park and major in marketing management and then work towards earning a master's degree. Her goal is to introduce more ethical and transparent marketing techniques into building trusting relationships between consumers and companies. Volunteer work is also important to Jereen. Her previous experience includes working in schools as a teaching assistant and raising money for refugees by selling art. Congratulations, Doreen. Your HCC family is extremely proud of you. Please join me in congratulating all Maryland's second academic team member, Shriam Mishra. Shriam is an international student who was born and raised in India. She moved to the United States in 2019 to pursue a career in nursing. Shriam is pursuing a double major in nursing and computer science and is duly enrolled at Harford Community College and Towson University. Shriam was recently honored at the 2021 Athena Awards Banquet as the recipient of this year's Emerging Leader Scholarship. In her spare time, Shriam volunteers for a local crisis hotline. Shriam's career goal is to work in nurse informatics after earning her bachelor's and master's degrees. Congratulations, Shriam. 
Your HCC family is extremely proud of you. It is my honor to introduce all Maryland academic first team member, Vincente Parker. Vincente's learned the importance of academics and community service from his family. He is a general studies major with a business leadership and technology emphasis and he plans to attend the University of Maryland Global Campus and major in marketing. Vincenti's career goal is to create a platform that brings awareness and provides resources for people in need, including the homeless community, families involved with foster care, and those with disabilities. He served as the co-president of the Phi Theta Kappa chapter and was the vice president of Campus Disciples, a Korean Christian club at Howard Community College. He has participated in many volunteer activities, including serving as a business mentor for a robotics team. Congratulations, Vincente. Please join me in congratulating all Maryland academic first team member, Karis Weisgerber. Karis will graduate with two Associate of Arts degrees, one in life science and the other in general studies. Next fall, she plans to transfer to Johns Hopkins University, University of Maryland College Park, or University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and major in biology. Karis hopes to earn a master's of science degree and have a career in biomedical research. She has a passion for service and helping other people, volunteering regularly in the children's ministry at her church and participating in several short-term mission trips to Haiti and Costa Rica. Congratulations, Karis. I am pleased to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Matthew Ringumberg. Matthew graduated in December with an Associate of Applied Science degree in Electronic Technology and an Associate of Arts degree in General Studies with Magna Cum Laude Honors. Prior to HCC, Matthew served our country for eight years and worked on repairing encryption and radio frequency devices for the military. When his service ended, he decided to expand on his work experience in the field. He believes his hands-on experience from the military and the additional knowledge and training that he received at HCC will allow him to accomplish his career goals and be successful. He is currently working for Domino Amjet, a local laser marketing and coding company as its field service engineer. Matt plans to pursue further certification and education in the future. He credits the support of his wife for his academic success. Congratulations, Matt. Please join me in congratulating all Maryland academic first team member and Coca-Cola academic team silver scholar, Ben Bluestein. Ben is a business major at the Macklin Business Institute at Montgomery College in Rockville. He plans to continue his studies in finance and is deciding what institution to attend. With the goal of being a financial services professional, his academic passions are business and investing, and he enjoys volunteering and watching sports in his free time. Congratulations, Ben. I am pleased to introduce all Maryland academic first team member and Coca-Cola academic team silver scholar, Haley Hart. Haley is majoring in information services and she hopes to continue her education and eventually earn a PhD. She would like to specialize in the regulation of intelligence systems to ensure AI is built in a way to improve society. Her career goal is to be the CEO of a leading artificial intelligence technology company. Heli enjoys volunteering with an organization called Sports Plus, in which she plans activities and programs for children, teens, and adults with autism. Congratulations, Heli. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Nathan Ngida. Originally from Ethiopia, Nathan was a biological sciences major at Montgomery College and transferred to Cornell University in spring 2021, where he's currently studying biological sciences with a concentration in computational biology. 
He aspires to pursue a career in computational biology. While at Montgomery College, Nathan served as a chemistry learning assistant for two semesters. He believed that experience was academically beneficial and he learned the importance of teamwork and building friendships. He worked as a student assistant at the Office of Student Financial Aid and was involved in leadership activities on campus, including the iLEAD program. In 2019, Nathan was awarded Dr. Harry Harden a Student Academic Excellence 4.0 Award and was inducted into the PTK Honor Society. Congratulations, Nathan. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland Academic second team member, Jerome Wahio. Born in the Philippines, Jerome immigrated to the United States in 2018. He received his associate degree in general studies STEM from Montgomery College in 2020 and was named a Board of Trustee Scholars. Currently, he's dually enrolled in MC's nursing program and University of Maryland School of Nursing. Jerome plans to apply to medical school and be an internist. With his passion of giving back to the community, he is an active volunteer member of the Maryland Medical Reserve Corps and works as a care technician at Johns Hopkins Medicine Suburban Hospital. Congratulations, Genome. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland Academic Second Team member, Ethan Yu. Ethan is a computer science major who in addition to his studies, he spent time starting and leading clubs at Montgomery College, working at various part-time jobs, gaining valuable work experience at internships and training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and boxing. He has earned various academic honors while at Montgomery College, such as the Dean's List and the Dr. Harry Harden Junior Student Academic Excellence and Scholarship Award. He'll be attending the University of Maryland College Park, and ultimately, he would like to attend graduate school and participate in research. Congratulations, Ethan. It is my pleasure to introduce all Maryland Academic First Team member and Coca-Cola Academic Team Silver Scholar, Kirsten Floyd. Kirsten is currently majoring in general studies with a concentration in art. As an artist, she hopes to share her own and others' stories and cultivate more space for Christian artists, particularly black Christian artists, to share their creativity and be the storytellers of their experiences of their love and betrayal, of triumphs and failures. Kirsten plans to continue her studies and earn her bachelor's degree in art. She aspires to have many positions in the art world, including gallery owner, animator, and art therapist. Congratulations, Kirsten. Please join me in congratulating all Maryland academic first team member, Cassandra Brumfield. Cassandra is a nursing major who spent most of her childhood moving from place to place. While born in California, she identifies as a New Jerseyan and regardless of where she called home, she did not let that interfere with her grades or learning. She credits her father for her motivation to work hard and continuously do well no matter where she was on her educational journey. Cassandra graduated with her associate degree in December 2020 and is currently attending the University of Maryland Baltimore School of Nursing. She plans to volunteer to assist with administration of COVID-19 vaccines. Congratulations, Cassandra. I am pleased to introduce all Maryland academic second team member, Saeed Ali. As an immigrant from Ethiopia, who has always had a passion, love, and determination to attend school, Saeed came to the United States in 2015 to further his education. 
After working for a year to save money for school, he started at Prince George's Community College part-time in 2017, working toward his degree in radiography. He was on the dean's list the last year, both spring and fall semester. Once he graduates, he will work in a hospital or outpatient facility as a radiologic technician to help support his family. Congratulations, Saeed. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Congratulations to all of the students for their achievements. You have actively engaged in your education, found your voice, and served your community. By investing your time and energy, you have made Maryland's community colleges the best in the nation. We are grateful for your contributions and we wish you continued success in the future. Thank you.